Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach who has lost and maintained a 140 pound weight loss and it's Saturday so it's grocery haul day. So if you're excited to see what I picked up for the week, we got some good deals, a few new food finds, give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I do a grocery haul every Saturday. I actually upload five videos every single week. Check out the description box down below where you will find nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly recommend. This is how I lost and maintained my 140 pound weight loss, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions, accountability, or to talk with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things and my free supportive Facebook group, we'd love to have you, are all down in that description box. So let me turn you around and let's jump into this week's grocery haul. So here is my grocery haul for the week. I went ahead and went to my local fry store, which is a Kroger store. I do have some new food finds and I have a little bit smaller haul this week because if you missed it, I had a massive $500 haul last week. So if you missed last week's haul, I'll link it down below. There were so many good deals and new food finds, but let me show you what I picked up for the week. I needed some sirloin steak for my lunch meal prep. Stay tuned after the grocery haul. I will be sharing with you what's on my menu for dinner as well as my meal prep you'll see on Monday. So I wanted sirloin steak. This is your leanest cut of steak. This and flank steak are the best options. Lowest points, lowest calories, lowest fat. This was an incredible deal. It was half off. So I went ahead and grabbed that for my lunch meal prep. Speaking of deals, I always stop by the meat department, as you know, especially at Kroger stores. It's always such a huge bang for your buck. They had 96% ground beef for $5.39 a pound. So I went ahead and picked up two. And then they also have the Simple Truth Natural 99% ground turkey for $4.75. I have quite a bit of the 93 in my freezer, but I didn't have any 99. So I picked that up. You guys know I prefer ground meat and ground turkey and chicken over regular chicken breast or turkey breast. So I picked that up. We also needed saltine crackers. We've been on a big soup kick. You know that I made pot pie soup in my meal prep, prep last week. Troy's been having canned soup a lot for lunch and dinner. So I grabbed some more saltines. And then I did stop by the reduced bakery section as well. These are so cute. These are birthday confetti soft top cookies. They were $2.00. And they were $2.79. If you didn't know, my friend Amy came into town on Thursday. So these are for her, Troy, me for the week. I always pick up a sweet treat. And then Troy really likes these. These are the little cherry bites. They're like little pastry bites. These are about two dollars. These are a dollar twenty, I think, after the discount. So not bad at all. And then I saw these on sale. These are from Boar's Head. These are the robust Italian chicken sausages. No nitrites, no nitrates. Normally these are eight dollars, I believe, and they were four thirty nine. 150 calories, 15 grams of protein. So good macro profile on those. I thought me and Amy could have those for lunch one day. Some bone broth beef. I needed beef broth for a couple recipes. And I always tell you wherever you can get protein, get protein and broth is a great way to do that. So I usually, so I try to buy bone broth instead of just regular beef, chicken, vegetable broth. So I picked that up for a couple recipes and I also needed some more non-fat plain Greek yogurt. <clears throat> they had their Thomas English muffins for $1.99. I did buy some at Costco, but I like these 100 calorie ones, the multigrain. So I picked those up for me. Again, Amy's here so we can make breakfast sandwiches in the morning. We are going to hike a lot and be outside. We're going to be pretty active. So I thought we could eat breakfast at my house before we leave. So these will definitely come in handy. This is a new food find to me. This is from the brand Tia Lupita Foods. These are the cactus grain free tortilla chips. Four grams of fiber in these. These were on sale for $3.29. 130 calories, and there's even a gram of protein. But look at these ingredients. The ingredients are so good in this. It is a blend of cassava flour and nopalia cactus, and cactus is actually really good for you. Sunflower, safflower, or coconut oil, coconut flour, chia seeds, and sea salt. Nice, clean ingredients. I do have some hummus in the fridge, so I thought that would be a good snack for us. And then I also grabbed a couple of rice cakes. So you know how much I love my mini caramel ones. I love these with peanut butter. It's one of my favorite snacks. 
For some reason, I think the minis taste a lot better. They're super, super crunchy and crispy. And then I've never seen these before. The dill pickle ones, that sounds so good. And again, I was thinking that would be really good dipped in hummus, or we have the Daisy Ranch dip. So just some snacky things for while Amy's here. I also grabbed some honey ham. This was on sale, the private selection, just so we had ham on hands for hand for sandwiches. I'm going to be making a cheesecake, spoiler alert, in my meal prep, so I needed a pie crust. I also grabbed some provolone cheese. This is for my lunch meal prep. And then for my breakfast meal prep, I needed rainbow sprinkles. Again, if you're interested in seeing what recipes I'm making, we I will share them right after the grocery haul. I also picked up two gallons of milk for Troy. One other side note, when did Fai yogurt become $6.50 on sale? I just can't believe the price of food, especially things like this that I used to pay $4.99 for. It's almost $2 more. So that was pretty crazy, but I needed it for a few recipes. And I got a big thing of lemon juice because I was completely out. Also a big thing of mushrooms because I have two recipes this week that call for mushrooms. Two green bell peppers and run red bell pepper also for meal prep and a dinner recipe. I also picked up three 24 packs of Diet Coke. They're $10.99 right now. So I grabbed the max, which was three for Troy. That way it'll last him a couple of weeks. So that is everything that I picked up for the week. Let's jump into my meal plan and what you'll see in Monday's meal prep. Here's what is on my dinner menu for the week. I am making a one pot beef stroganoff. You'll actually see that recipe in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. And then we're gonna have a taco salad night and a spaghetti night. That way we can use up some of the items we have on hand. And then here's what you'll be seeing in my meal prep video on Monday. So I'm making birthday cake overnight oats for breakfast. That's what I bought the fun sprinkles for. For lunch, we're doing Philly cheesesteak bowls. I'm actually really excited for this. I love a good Philly cheesesteak. And then as a sweet treat, I'm making Greek yogurt cheesecake. So again, we're putting a protein spin on a dessert. So stay tuned for all three recipes in Monday's meal prep. Thank you for joining me for this week's grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing every Everything I picked up for the week. We are setting ourselves up for another successful week. If you enjoyed the haul, give it a thumbs up. Again, subscribe, turn your bell on so you never miss a future video. Don't forget I will link nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and my Facebook group in the description box for you. Happy Saturday, and I'll see you in the next one.